Let's move on to main topic number one. And our first main topic today gets submitted to us by David Goel, who writes, Hey, John, I love Shazam, me too, brother. Uh, however, one thing I noticed is that the child actor uh, Asher Angel is already 16. By the time Shazam comes out, uh, if it does, he will be at least 18. Your thoughts. All right. And you're not wrong, man. You're not wrong. Uh, there is, there's been a question going around as I, I want to bring this up here just to make sure I've got the right information. I, I'm going to be bringing up, uh, the Shazam IMDB page here. All right. So a question has been going around about, you know, with the premise of Shazam about, he is this kid who transforms into the world's mightiest mortal, you know, at, at one point, Captain Marvel. Now he is Shazam, right? But to maintain that, uh, what's the word, a concept, in an animated thing, it's easy because the kid's always 13 or whatever. Here's the thing. The earliest this time this film is going to come out is 2021 that, for Shazam 2. That's the earliest. And by the way, there's never been a 100% official thing saying they are going to do it. I think we all know that they are going to do one. But earliest is going to be 2021. This kid who I've never had a beer. By the way, just so it's, we're very clear here. I freaking love Shazam. That movie is awesome. I love it. That said, Asher Angel is not going to be 18 years old. He's going to be 19. In Canada, he's going to be making drives to Canada so he can legally go to bars and order, you know, order a shot. I mean, that because in Canada, that's the drinking age. He's old enough to go to war. He's old enough to drive a car. He's old enough to do whatever. His co-star, Jack Dylan Grazer, is going to be 18 years old, legally an adult at that point you are going to run into a problem at some point where it's like the notion of the little, he's the little kid and he says Shazam and now I'm a grown up. It's the reverse. It's big. It's Tom Hanks is big with superpowers, but that's gone when you've got, you know, Billy Batson with six o'clock shadow and, you know, uh, talking about his trip to Vegas last weekend. I, I mean, it's a little bit different. Now, you can just make them up to make sure they try to look younger, make them act like younger. But at this stage, you can only look like this for so long. And that could be an inherent flaw in the strategy of Shazam. I mean, it, it very well could be, I suppose. But to me, the only answer out of that is that at some point narratively, you say that the, the, uh, the Marvel family, that become that's their permanent state, that, that as, you know, this is what he looks like all the time that he's in his Shazam form. That's what he's like all the time. Cause at some point you can't say that one is the younger version of the other. Cause it's just not going to work for long, whether or not that becomes an issue for Shazam two or not, maybe they can get away with one more. Maybe they can get away with one more, but I think even that's questionable at this point. And, and that is going to be something they have to deal with. I don't know, Rob, do you think the aging of the younger stars of the film is going to be an issue? And if it <clears> is, <throat> How do you deal with it moving forward if you still want to make Shazam movies? Well, one, I, 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 I don't think it is because the first movie, you know, you could equate it to big, right? But the next movie could be about, well, what happens when you have the Shazam power and you're getting older? You know, what happens if you're in college? So you'd work it into the narrative. I would. I would absolutely make it part of the narrative. And I think that would be, I think in a way that's part of what it means to have that power is as you're growing older... Uh, how, what does that do to your life? Like, can you imagine if you did like a Van Wilder? Not not with Ryan Reynolds, but you're making a Van Wilder, right? Yeah. And you're Van Wilder, but you can also turn into Shazam. Like, how would that movie go? You know, like, like I, I think that would be hilarious. Like, you know, you want to throw the most monster kegger that's ever been shown. And you have a superhero at your disposal to help you do that. I mean, I could see, you you know, you the first one's big. The second movie's Animal House, you know, and then the third movie is you get into your 20s or even your 30s. What happens if you're a family man and, and you've got your you've got two families? You've got the Marvel family and you've got your own family. And, and you have a really awkward scene where Billy is about to make love to his wife. She goes, say Shazam. First. Oh, dude. <laughs> I mean, I, I, that kind of thing. I'm telling you there the, the, there could be a really interesting way to do that and and i think and part of it would eventually be you know ultimately if you had three movies you're leading up to the point in time when in your own life you have to give up 
the power. Mm. And that becomes part of what the mythology is, is that you get to a certain age and you no longer wield this power anymore. And what's that like? You know, I could see that could be a really heartbreaking story that at the end you trade your Marvel family and then everybody in the Marvel family has to go on their separate ways. That could be a really powerful emotional thing that we've never seen in a superhero movie. It would be interesting. So the question here, guys, how do you deal with this? Do you think that you can just keep things the same and just pretend that they're young? Do you think they have to just phase the kid actors out and just say they're permanently this? Or do you work it into the, the aging of them into the story narratively like Rob is suggesting? How do you think is the best way for them to approach this? Jump down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. All right.